St. Louis House is a place that offers respite and relief for women who are struggling to carry the weight of the responsibility of their family. And so it's a place where women can go with their children and make a nest, make a place to live, get the help that they need to get out of where they are and to rid themselves of the shackles of the things that are holding them back and to be able to realize that they do have that power, that they can make their lives better, not just for themselves, but also for their children. To me, the personal approach was what struck me as being so important, that they take each person as a person and their life as their unique life and their family and help them with what they need. Because it seems like there's a lack of momentum when you can't get started and you can't even figure out what to do next. And that's where St. Louis House comes in and helps these women find a sense of hope and give them a path to get out of where they are. I think that shame can tend to cause a lot of inertia. And it doesn't matter if you're homeless or if you have a home. There is that feeling that you're in a predicament that's embarrassing to you or feels hopeless to you. And I think the key there to getting out of that place is to find a source of light, a source of hope. Because once you can have something that inspires you just for that one day, you can make steps in the right direction. And then the next day, you deal with that the next day. And on that day, you make more steps forward. And I think that that's what the St. Louis House really does. Instead of putting like a pie in the sky dream up there, it helps women literally take one step at a time to get out of where they are and to go forward into making their dreams come true for their, themselves and for their children. The more people that know about what's going on at St. Louis House, the more help and funds will flow into St. Louis House. Because once you have an understanding of what's going on and what needs are being met, that generosity is a natural outpouring and a response to that awareness. It makes me want to stand up on a table and cheer and clap my hands. Just the thought of that, the thought of women overcoming bad situations, bad relationships, um, difficult circumstances or odds stacked against them and the thought that they can come out on the other side triumphant and victorious, proud, excited about life. That to me is just God's hand and it's definitely working at the St. Louis house. As a single mom in my house, one of the things that makes me feel really great is when I go to the store every week and get some fresh flowers and put them on the kitchen island or on the kitchen table. Sometimes I'll even, even take out one little flower and put it in a bud vase in my daughter's rooms. And it makes me feel like when I walk in the house that I feel like it's beautiful and it feels fresh and welcoming to me. And every time I was buying these flowers at the store for over a couple weeks, I was thinking, gosh, something was settling on my heart about that. And it made me think, that is such a luxury to be able to spend $7 or $9 on flowers. And you would never do that if you didn't have milk or if you didn't have bread. And so it started me thinking, I wonder what that would feel like if you were a single mom, a homeless mom moving into a home and starting your life over. Just what would that look like to have fresh flowers when you walk in the door after a hard day? The idea is on Fridays, women could come in with the vase that they will have in their apartment and they can come in and pull flowers that they like out of a bucket or two and make a bouquet and take it back to their apartment and enjoy that for the week and then the following week come back in again and pick out something new. I hope that it brings them an immeasurable sense of, of confidence and pride and hope that there is a life out there with their name on it. For me, faith and family go together. And so that is the core of me, the core of who I am. And my parents have this saying, you're only as happy as your unhappiest child. To me, that is just the essence of a human heart when you love something beyond yourself. And that's how I feel about my children, my family. And I know that that's a common sentiment among mothers all over. And so tapping into that and being able to share that is an amazing gift. It's just a matter of being able to get a little boost and every single person at a time in their life could, has had a point where they could use that little boost. And that's what St. Louis House is.